My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the process of creating a lobby layout for an Adobe Connect meeting room. A lobby layout is basically a layout that you can use as people are joining your meeting or webinar or virtual classroom before you've started delivering the content itself. It can be used as a way to break ice as people are entering the room, or even just a way to relay some information before you start sharing content officially. Now, a lot of the templates in Adobe Connect come with a lobby layout automatically, but in this case, I want to create my own. And I've created a brand new meeting based on the default meeting template, which doesn't have a lobby layout. I've got my three standard layouts in this meeting, sharing, discussion, and collaboration. And I'm going to create a brand new lobby layout by clicking on the Add Layout button at the bottom of my layout bar. In this case, I'm going to create it completely from scratch by selecting Create a New Blank Layout and I'll rename this Lobby. I'll click OK and I do indeed have a completely blank layout to use, an empty stage. And I can see my Lobby layout over in my Layouts bar here. Now it really doesn't matter where it's positioned in my room. I can still have everybody join even on this fourth layout, but I like to see the Lobby at the top, so I'm going to click and drag the Lobby layout to the top of my Layouts bar. With my empty stage, I can start adding some content through the pods menu. But before I do that, I'd like to personalize this meeting room. I'm going to do that by clicking on the meeting menu and selecting preferences so I can upload some wallpaper. I'll do that by clicking on the upload button around background, and then selecting browse my computer to find a file on my desktop that I can use. I'm going to select this maple leaf image right here and click on open. This is going to apply that JPEG image as my background. And I do have a logo in the bottom right hand corner of that image. So what I can do in Adobe Connect is pin it, pin my image to the bottom right hand corner of my Adobe Connect room. That means no matter what somebody's resolution is as they join my Adobe Connect meeting, that logo will never get cut off. And Adobe Connect will never skew that image either. It'll always keep it intact. I'm going to click on Done. And I can see my desktop background now for my Adobe Connect room with my logo in the bottom right hand corner. Now I can start adding some content. I can do that from the pods menu. Now there are a lot of different pods that you can use here and there's no real right way or wrong way to set up your lobby. It's something that you can personalize. For a webinar, I like to use a Q&A pod. I've got moderated chat so people can ask questions but not everybody sees everybody else's question. For a lobby, though, I like to have an open chat pod where everybody can see what everybody else is typing. So I'm going to click on chat and add a new chat pod to my lobby layout. Now, I don't need it this big. It's right now taking up the entire stage. So I'm going to make that much, much smaller, drag it over to the left, and maybe make it a little shorter as well. It's called chat three. It's the third chat pod in the room. In this case, though, I'm going to rename that simply by double clicking where it says chat three and typing in, where are you from? This is a great way to get people talking. It breaks the ice and it introduces them to the idea of providing feedback inside of the virtual classroom, the webinar or the meeting room. I'd also like to add some content through a share pod. So I'm going to add a brand new share pod. We're going to keep this in the center of the room, but make this pod a little smaller here. Move it up to the center. One of the things I use a lot in a webinar lobby is some rotating slides. Have a slide deck that moves through each of the slides automatically and then loops back to the start to start over again. And I can set up a looping slide deck in Adobe Presenter. In this case, though, rather than using a slide deck, I'm going to use some imagery. I can upload any image, any JPEG or ping file directly to my Adobe Connect room simply by dragging it and dropping it onto the stage. So let me open up my file browser. Uh, and here in my pictures library, I've got a JPEG image that I'm going to use. So I'm going to drag and drop that directly onto the empty share pod. That's going to upload my webinar banner image to my room. I can make this look even better by hiding the title bar, which just shows the image itself. It's probably a little too big for what I'm looking for. So I'm going to resize that to be a little smaller. There we go. And center that. 
I'd also like to add a note pod to my lobby. I'd like to let people know how we'll be delivering audio, whether they need to turn on their computer speakers or not. So I'm going to do that again through the pods menu. I'll select notes and then add a new note pod. You can actually have several note pods on any of your layouts. So if you want to add one note pod for your audio and another note pod with instructions, you can do that. Once again, I'm going to rename this pod by double clicking on the title bar. I'm going to call it audio information. And inside of the pod, I'll just ask people to turn on their computer speakers. Speaking of audio, I'd like to add some music to my lobby. Again, this is a layout that we're going to use as people are joining the webinar, but before we've really started. So people that are coming 15 minutes early will spend some time in the lobby. I'd like to give them something to listen to. So I'm going to add some music. I'll do that through a share pod. I'm going to click share and add new share. This pod really doesn't need to be big at all. There's no visual. Uh, indication for the participants. Only the hosts and the presenters will see the music controls. So I'll make this nice and small. Once again, go back to my file system, find an MP3. In this case, it's something in my sample library, and then drag and drop that onto my empty share pod to upload that as uh, music inside of my lobby. I can also add interactive applications into my lobby. Something like a game or a timer works really well inside of an Adobe Connect lobby. You can find a lot of these custom pods, by the way, in your web browser by going to our Adobe Connect homepage and clicking on apps or by typing in apps.adobeconnect.com into your browser window and that will take you to our apps page. And on this page, you'll find a number of different ways that you can break the ice for your webinar, your meeting, or your virtual classroom. A YouTube player to play some video content as people are waiting to join. Here's an MP3 player if you want to give people the choice of what type of music they'd like to listen to. You can flow in content from Twitter or Instagram using this social stream pod. There's a great countdown timer here if you want to let people know how long it's going to be until your meeting starts. We've also got games like Rock, Paper, Scissors or Rochambeau that people can use to entertain themselves before the meeting starts. So let me show you how to add a couple of those to the lobby. I'm going to add a new share pod or two here. So I'll click Add New Share. Let's start with the countdown timer to let people know how long it's going to be before our meeting starts. I'm going to position that right underneath our uh, music player here. I'll use the lines inside of Adobe Connect to position this properly. I can once again drag and drop it onto my blank share pod, but just to show you a different way, I'm going to click on the Share My Screen drop down, select Share Document, and then browse my computer, and I'll go looking for that particular document. Under Documents, I've got a number of different custom pods here. Let's select the countdown timer and click Open. And I've now added that countdown timer directly to my lobby. Once again, I'm going to just adjust the size of this to make it a little narrower. And if I'd like, I can also hide the title bar of this pod to make it look a little better. I can set the time and then start it whenever I'm ready. One last pod I'm going to use for this particular layout is a game to help break the ice. I'm going to resize this pod before I add my content. Once again, select the drop down box beside Share My Screen select Share Document, and then Browse My Computer. And this time I'm going to select the Rochambeau, or the Rock, Paper, Scissors game, to upload to my Adobe Connect lobby. That looks good. I'm going to hide the title bar once again and just resize this so people can start playing a game before the meeting starts. We've got some chat so people can interact with each other, audio information, a countdown timer, some music playing, imagery or slides, as well as an icebreaker game. What we don't have yet is any way to tell whether somebody is actually in our room or not. And we can add that by going to the pods menu and choosing attendees or attendee list. But I don't want to add my attendee list on a webinar lobby layout. I want to keep the number of people within the room and who they are confidential. So what I'm going to do is go back to the meeting menu, choose to enable the presenter only area. This is the backstage of your Adobe Connect room that only the presenters and hosts in the room can see. It includes the engagement dashboard. You can also have things like chat 
that's private for presenters and hosts, as well as your own personal notes. Great way to keep your agenda. And so I, with that open, I'm going to go and select the attendee list to add the attendee list to my presenter only area so that I'll be able to see who's joined the meeting room. But that information will be kept completely private and confidential from everybody else in the Adobe Connect room. And that's one of the ways that you can create your own lobby layout inside of your Adobe Connect meetings. Thanks for your time.